Hello guys, welcome back and in today's quick Tableau tutorial we're going to be talking about how we can upload to Tableau server. So in the last couple of videos I tried to give you a little insight of the structure and now we're going to talk about how do we upload. So once you've got a sheet or a workbook um, that you're happy with and you want to upload to server then you look up to the top where you can see the tab and click server. So first step is you need to make sure that you're signed into the correct, uh, the correct server. So with Paramount I'm using this one. Um, and then you should, a, a window should come up saying, okay, it's now close to save this. So then we go back on to our, um, our Tableau. And then when we click server this time, it says that we are signed in. Okay. You also are able to sign, um, upload to Tableau public here as well. Okay. So now you want to go on to publish workbook. So you click publish workbook and then there should be a window that comes up that allows you to specify the the destination in which you want to save your workbook. So let's wait for this to load. Okay, brilliant. So this is the window that is going to pop up. So first of all, uh, you will be able to see what project you want to save it to. So this should give you um, all, the, all the options on that server where you can save it to. And then it also asks you to name it. So I would recommend, highly recommend naming it uniquely so that it, you can easily distinguish um, or someone who needs to access it can easily distinguish it. And then if you want to give further descriptions, potentially uh, the difference between one volume and another volume, then that is also very useful to include. Um, you can choose what sheets you want to include. So say if it's only one dashboard or only two sheets that you need, then you do that by, by clicking and highlighting this bit. Um, and then it also states what permissions are access accessible by the site administrator or the project leader. Um, yeah, so there we have it pretty much. And it also talks about the data source and any other options that you could potentially want as well. And then once you're happy with it, you just click publish and you will find your workbook exactly where you've saved it. Okay, I hope that helps and see you in the next video.